Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're not going to be doing a actual tip in After Effects, but we're going to be talking about the difference between a preset, a script, and a plugin. Now I get this question a lot, what's the difference? Some people seem to be a little bit confused about this. Sometimes I'm even confused about this because there's a lot that goes into us. And so if I happen to say something that you have a different opinion on, then go ahead and correct me in the comments below. But as this is, as I understand it, the differences between preset scripts and plugins. First off, let's talk about a preset. So a preset is recalling what you did in After Effects. And this only works on a single layer. So for example, I have a, a text layer and I put in three or four different filters on it. I can save that as a preset. And then when I hit the preset button to apply it, it will recall what I had done. So it's kind of after the fact. It's recalling what I have already done on a single layer. Then there's a script. And a script is telling After Effects what to do. It's telling it to do something. So it's different. It's not recalling what I already have done, but telling it to do new things. So because of this, I can do more than I can with a preset because I can tell it to create a new comp or to create a new solid or a new text layer. And so it'll end up, when I run a script, it can end up with multiple layers and I can have all sorts of different code and expressions already on there. The script will go in and write it all. And then a plugin is where you're bringing external code and functions into After Effects. So it's plugging it into After Effects. So for example, like optical flares, um, this is something that After Effects, it does have an optical flares plugin on its own, but the one from Video Copilot is different. It does more stuff. And so it has its own whole render engine, and then it's bringing that and it's plugging it into After Effects um, with its own code. And the benefit of a plugin, native plugin over like a script or a preset, is it can write pixels. It can draw pixels onto the screen. So with a script, you can't, it can't draw pixels. It can't do anything that After Effects can't already do, if that makes sense. Um, but a plugin can. It's bringing new functionality into After Effects. Now there's kind of an in-between ground. So um, with this, we have a preset, and then there's something in between, and a script, and then there's something in between in the plugin. And for lack of better names, I call the in-between here pseudo effects, and then superscripts. I don't know if there's another word for superscripts, but that's what I call them. Now what a pseudo effect is, is you can add controllers and custom controllers that you create and write, where it, at that point it starts to look and behave more like a plugin, but it's still recalling any of the functions that are already available in After Effects. It's not bringing in new functionality like a plugin does. But it does a lot of cool stuff, and if you want to see some more pseudo effects, I've got quite a few of them. Some of them free, some of them I sell um, over at cinemaspice.net, and these are all pseudo effects. And then something I like to call superscripts are things like Newton 2. This is technically a script because what it's doing is it's adding a physics engine kind of into After Effects, but it's not bringing that in as a plugin. So scripts have the ability of ex executing its own code, and it's all kind of JavaScript based. And so Newton 2 has this whole render engine, and what it does is it then writes that into keyframes and then applies that to your composition. So it's not actually bringing in physics it's not plugging physics in to After Effects, but it's keeping it in the script and then writing out the keyframes, which After Effects does understand. So everything below a plugin basically needs to work with what After Effects knows and already has. So uh, After Effects has keyframes. After Effects has uh, shape layers. And so these things have to rely on that. A plugin can bring in new functionality. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, Feel free to put them down in the comments below if you have a different opinion on what presets, scripts, plugins. Um, I'd like to hear that as well. And if you've come up with a better name, instead of calling these super scripts, then uh, uh, let me know that. If you want to see um, some more scripts, check out aescripts.com. There's tons of scripts on there and lots of cool functionality that it brings into um, After Effects. Some of them are native plugins there. Some of them are scripts. Um, some of them are somewhere in between. And if you, again, wanted to see some more pseudo effects, just click over on the link to Cinema Spice where I have some pseudo effects that I have created and have available. So thank you so much for watching. 
and we'll see you next time.